click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the last problem we saw a two product problem where we have to make maximize the overall profit by using two products in this problem we are going to work out based on the food consumption let's see the problem vitamin v and w are found in two different foods f1 and f2 so we have got two different food f1 and f2 one unit of food f1 contains two units of vitamin v and three units of vitamin w so we have got two food products f1 f2 which we have to consume and by consuming this we are going to get vitamin v and vitamin w next one unit of f1 contains two units of v and three units of w food 1 ke ek unit mein hota hai v ka do units aur w ka three units one unit of food f2 contains four units of vitamin d and two units of vitamin w फूड F2 में विटामिन D का चार यूनिट्स और विटामिन W का टू यूनिट्स वन यूनिट ऑफ फूड F1 वन एंड एफ टू कॉस्ट फाइव एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव रेस्पेक्टिवली वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट पर यूनिट फॉर फूड वन इट इज फाइव रुपीज एंड फॉर फूड टू इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज my minimum daily requirement of vitamin v and w is 40 and 50 units respectively vitamin v ka 40 units vitamin w 50 units this is my daily requirement assuming that anything in excess of daily minimum requirement of v and w is not harmful See, so practically, if you consume anything in excess, it will be harmful for our health. And therefore, to make the problem realistic, they have made an assumption that anything consumed more than the minimum required quantity is not harmful. Anything in excess is not harmful. It will just dissolve and move out of the body. That is the basic assumption they have made in the problem itself. What we are supposed to do now? Find out the optimal mixture of food. F1 and F2 at the minimum cost, which meets the daily minimum requirement of vitamin V and W. Formulate this as a linear programming problem. So, friends, we are given the cost of the food F1 and F2, and therefore we have to minimize the cost. In case we are given the profit, in case we are given the sales, in case we are given the Contribution per unit. We basically try to maximize it, but in this case, it shall be minimized. Now let's try to formulate this as a linear programming problem. First, we will try to convert the uh, paragraph format problem into a tabular format. Here will be our table. Our table will have two columns. one for food one other for food two so here we have food one f1 food two f2 and what are my what are my constituents of this food one unit of f1 contains two units of vitamin v and three units of vitamin w F1 के एक यूनिट में विटामिन V मिलेगा आपको दो यूनिट्स विटामिन W मिलेगा थ्री यूनिट्स 
वन यूनिट ऑफ एफ टू कंटेंट्स फोर यूनिट्स ऑफ विटामिन वी एंड टू यूनिट्स ऑफ विटामिन डब्ल्यू सो एफ टू में आपका आएगा यहां पे चार यूनिट्स और यहां पे आएगा आपका टू यूनिट्स देन वी आर गिवन द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट इज द मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ विटामिन दे रिक्वायर एवरी डे फॉर दिस वी आर गिवन फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी फॉर V एंड W, V का मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट है फोर्टी यूनिट्स और W का है फिफ्टी यूनिट्स एंड यूर ऑल्सो गिवन द कॉस्ट सो द कॉस्ट वॉज Five rupees and two point five rupees per unit. I just note down it here. Cost per unit five rupees and two point five rupees, and that's it. So we have converted the problem into a tabular format. We have made it table, and now we are supposed to solve it out. First, as usual, we write down our assumption. Let X one units of food F one and X two units of food F two are purchased or consumed. Now, objective function is to minimize the cost. So I'll just note down the objective function. Objective function will be minimize z equals to what shall be my cost. We have made an assumption that we are making or we are buying x one units of food one and x two units of food two. What will be my cost? Per unit, my cost per unit of food one is five rupees multiplied by number of units is x one, so it will be five x one plus. Similarly for food two, it is two point five rupees per unit multiplied by number of units x two, so it shall be two point five x two. This is my objective function. We have to minimize the cost subject to. By writing subject to, we are putting the conditions. We are putting the constraints. What are my constraints? My first constraint is that vitamin V minimum requirement is forty. कम से कम चालीस units दिन का consumption होना ही चाहिए vitamin V का. यहाँ पे हमारा consumption आएगा two into x one plus four into x two. So two into x one. Plus four into x two. What is my overall minimum requirement? Forty. So it will be minimum requirement forty. Simply means that I should make forty or more than forty. Making anything less than forty won't satisfy the minimum requirement. Therefore, the sign will be more than or equal to forty. In the same manner for the second product, vitamin W. We have three x one plus two x two more than equal to fifty. Three x one plus two x two more than equals to fifty. These are my two basic constraints, and then as usual, we note down the non-negativity constraints. Under non-negative constraints, you will write x one more than equals to zero, x two more than equals to zero. So with this, we just formulated the problem. This was my original question. Uh, this was the problem based on food consumption. We have got two products, f one and f two, and then we based on the information given in the problem, we first formulated the problem. Once the problem was formulated. then we actually converted this into a linear 
प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल और ये लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम थैंक्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल ई गिरा